Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I have an unboxing for my Play by Sephora box. I didn't do this last month and I'm not sure why. I guess I feel like unboxings just don't get as many views as other topics. So let me know whether you want to see these unboxings or not. I'm just on the fence about it. Anyway, this is the February 2017 Play by Sephora box. It just came in the mail today, so I figured I'd open it up and share it with you. So when you open it up, here's the box, and it comes with a card that's the um, Play Pass to receive 50 extra Beauty Insider points with any purchase in store. Um, I believe these are typically good for like six weeks or something before they expire. And then Here's the bag. Um, it's really cute. Um, I think December they had a black bag, then in January they had like a sporty, meshy type bag, and now they have this really pretty like soft, um, nude, pinky, neutral, satiny type of bag, which is really pretty. It says smitten, hashtag Sephora play. So yeah, let's just jump on in. The first thing that I'm pulling out is a little baby mascara from the Sephora collection. It's called Lash Craft Length and Volume Mascara. It's supposedly $12. I don't know about all that. Um, but everything on here is in French. So let's take a look at this. And oh my god, it's so tiny, you guys. It's so small. Do you see this? It's like as big as my pinky finger. What? What is this? Um, I'm not going to open this just yet because I have other mascaras going, um, but we'll see. I don't know how well this is going to work or how long it's going to last. It's super tiny. Um, it says it's 2.8 milliliters or 0.094 fluid ounces, so that's super small to me. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. The next thing I'm pulling out is the fragrance. Um, so this is from Marc Jacobs. This is really shiny. Um, it's Divine Decadence Eau de Parfum. I didn't like the original Decadence. I felt like it was very old lady to me. Um, but this is different. It says sensual, luxurious, radiant. Um, it doesn't say anything about the notes, but let's see. I can't smell anything like on it, so I'm going to like spray it. Hmm. It's not bad. It's not like the original Decadence, which is good. Um, I'll have to see how it works with my body chemistry, but so far, it's alright. The next thing, let's see here, is in a box. This is from Clinique. This is the Pep Start Hydro Blur Moisturizer. It's 0.24 fluid ounces or 7 milliliters. Um, I like this packaging. Let's see here. So, oh, it comes in a little tube. That's really cute. Um, I don't know anything about this, but I know Clinique is not cruelty free, so I wouldn't be like repurchasing, but I'll be happy to try it out. Maybe I'll throw it in my subscription box blitz and we'll see if I can use it up that way. Let's see, the next thing here is in a tube. Um, this is from Too Faced. It's the Lip Injection Glossy in Milkshake, and this is one gram or 0 0.03 ounces. Um, not really into this color. It's like a very yellowy nude, and it's got a bunch of like gold glitter in it. So I'm not gonna like swatch this right now. I might end up putting this up for swap. Um, because I'm not sure about this, and I've heard mixed things about this, like, lip injection formula and how it can, like, burn, um, which is not really what I want when I'm putting on a lip gloss. So, um, I'm gonna look up swatches and stuff and see if it's something that I would want to keep. Um, it's a very small amount of product, so it would be easily panned, so, I don't know. We'll see. The next thing is in a little tube. And, um, oh, okay, this is from Origins. 
This is the Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream, and it's very generously sized. It's 5 milliliters or 0.17 ounces, so this is about a third of the full size. I have used up a full size of this before, and I wish that Origins was cruelty-free because I do really like this eye cream, so um, I'll be happy to use this up. Um, it's a really nice eye cream to me. I like it in the morning time, so um, I'm happy to have a little bit more of this. And there's one more product in here, and I think it's the one I was most excited about, and yes. This is from NARS. It is their Velvet Lip Glide, um, which is a newer product, and this is in the shade Bound. This is 2 milliliters or 0 0.07 fluid ounces, if I can get it out of the little box here. Oh my god. Oh, it's so tiny and cute, you guys. Oh, and it's got that nice, like, NARS packaging. Bound was the color that I really wanted um, when I saw some spoilers, so I will be keeping this. Um, look at how cute that is. It's just a flat paddle, and wow, that's super pretty. Um, it's a nice, like, mauve color. Um, I hope that you can see that. Please ignore this. This is a swatch of an eyeshadow, but um, it, it does. It glides on really nicely. Um, it's not super opaque on first swipe, but... Um, we'll see how it works on the lips. I'm really excited to try this out. Um, yeah. So that was everything from my Sephora Play Box for January. Why am I saying January? For February 2017. Let me know what you got down below. I think that there were three variations of the box. So let me know what you got and if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy unboxings, please let me know. Um, if you want me to continue doing these, Play by Sephora is the only one that I'm getting right now, so let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you will subscribe if you aren't already so that we can stay in touch, and I will catch all of you in my next video. Bye, guys.